court is calling 2024 CR1174, State of Texas versus Albert A. Bishop. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garrett, hand your own. Defense? Charles Gold for Mr. Bishop. And are you Mr. Bishop? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of stalking? That's a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Yes, ma'am. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, Your Honor. I would like to address the court about the, the fine. Yes. He's homeless. We would ask that you probate the fine, uh, all of the, the fine, uh, until he gets a job or gets set up. We would ask that, since he's been homeless. All right. Why are you homeless? Just doing uh, things for my community, the homeless community, being an activist. and prevent- No, 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 no. Why don't you have a place to stay? I guess for people say that I don't like being a burden to anybody no i mean if you get a job i know here's the the thing listen yes ma'am yes ma'am if you get employment and get an apartment and pay the monthly fee for the apartment guess what you're not a burden it's a business transaction so why are you not engaging in business transactions for a place to live i have no excuses to give you i'm just i'm in the process of getting that together so why are you homeless like when does it start have you always been homeless your know, point of beginning to now uh i said about i've been homeless for about three years okay so what were you doing before you became homeless uh, couch surfing all right so why don't you have a place to stay i still don't understand why you're homeless i have no excuses to give you and i present them to you and i will get now i do have a reason a, a, pur- a purpose to stay off probation to pay for myself, for me, me, invest in myself. Okay, counsel, do you know why he's homeless? I mean, sometimes people are homeless because they start using drugs and people are just done and they say. I, I think during the time, Judge, no, not necessarily. I've been sober for about, going on my 13th year. I've never done heroin. I'm, don't, I probably smoke weed for my anxiety because uh, I do have bad anxiety. A drug problem, I'm too poor to have a drug problem. <laughs> Not to not to make not to make fun of anything. Yeah, I just don't have the money to invest into a drug. So I, I'm trying to figure out how can he do well on probation. What is his plan? To get myself on on the ball for probation. But and how are you going to do that? Getting a job, uh, if even means for right now, getting paid on. You know. Didn't you say something about Haven for Hope? Yeah, Haven for Hope, or the the means to an end to get a job. I mean, that should be easy. Right. A purpose? Well, I had no purpose. I had no 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 family to speak of, no kids to speak of, nobody to take care of. And when it comes to investing myself, well, now I have a reason. So if you give me a, I mean, a chance, of course I'm going to do what's right. I always do what's right. All right, so here's the thing. No less than two times, this person at McDonald's said that you've been bothering her and she doesn't want you there anymore. Is GPS appropriate in this case? I believe at least uh, initially it should be, Your Honor. Uh, I don't know about that, Judge. I think there was, wasn't this followed at large and there was nothing going on at the time. No, I really get when you every time she says the name, I really can't picture who the person she's kicking. Well, it's the person where you keep going to McDonald's, said you were trespassing. She didn't want you there. And it says, victim advised that the same patterns of malicious behaviors were de- directed towards victim by suspect. That's you. Yes, ma'am. They're saying that you would criminally trespass from the restaurant and would typically direct these gestures at her through a lar- large store front window from the sidewalk. These behaviors occur several times a month and cause her to feel unsafe and anxiety. And then that was in August. And you also have the one from October. So I think he needs to be on GPS. I've, how old are you 20 i'm 50, i'm about to be 52 man yes if i really don't need to be on gps because i really don't have nothing bad against her. she's a manager at mcdonald's and maybe i flicked somebody off through the window that was in there but really all I, right see why are you telling me that she's the manager at mcdonald's and you just well, told counsel you don't even know who she is well I re- not i don't know who she is personally to say but i know after speaking to her when she gave me well, yeah she's the, the, the one of the managers at mcdonald's judge, i just think that I mean, we can delve into this, but I think that he's homeless, and I think I'm I'm, I'm asking about the fine. 
And if we can waive that, and I don't think how he's going to pay for GPS. I, I think that can graduate if we need that later on. But there's been times when it hasn't. I, I say he's going to be watched over for a while. He needs GPS. I mean, I understand the situation that people are homeless. I do. But that doesn't give everybody a pass to do whatever they want to do. Can you, can you give me a chance to prove myself before you put me on monitor? No. But in, don't I need a place of uh, residence for a monitor? No, uh, what I'll do is we'll see if the fees can be waived, but you need to be on GPS monitor. And we can't do a, a wait and see if you're going to do well or not. Because if you're back at that McDonald's, I want to know about it. Okay. And the only way to know about that, because you say you're homeless, is for a GPS. So, so and do G not cut off this monitor. You understand? Yeah. So the GPS is just to see if I'm in the area of the place? Yes. What type of GPS do y'all want? Partial tracking? None. Oh, it's going to be GPS. I, I believe he's tracking so that, I mean, uh, if he is homeless, obviously, uh, but he should be... I think the state's position is that this this particular McDonald's, this particular individual was scared for her safety. And I don't know if you read in there, Judge, that one of the times this happened, that officer was standing with this individual when it happened. Mm -hmm. and so that's the brazenness of that in front of an officer is uh, more concerning to the state. You also are. Can I uh, speak on that? Uh, I don't know. Does your attorney want you to speak on that? No, no. Yeah. All right, it's a $1,500 fine. That'll be probated. Seven years deferred adjudication. There's to be GPS tracking. And then there's uh, 200 hours of community service restitution. That'll be waived if you are able to get a certificate or some type of um, education from a trade school or somewhere else. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Is there anything else you need from the court to be successful? Uh, I believe I'm being released on uh, after monitor. Uh, you are going to be in custody for two weeks for a TAP evaluation. Anything else that you need to be successful on this probation? I'm going to be put back in jail for two weeks. Yes, you are. Anything else you need to be successful on this probation? Okay, so do I. I was Showing you what's entitled trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Do you understand? Partially. All right, so, what don't you understand? When I'm going to be released? Uh, what I told you is you're going to stay in custody mm -hmm. for the TAP evaluation. Once the TAP evaluation is done, if the TAP evaluation recommends that you go into inpatient treatment, you're going into inpatient treatment. If the TAP evaluation recommends that you be in outpatient treatment, then you will be released. Okay. And that could be up to you two weeks? It depends. Okay. All right. Thank you. Stay away from there. You understand? Yes, are you the same Albert A. Bishop who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2024 CR1174 for the offense of stalking on March 28, 2024 for a period of seven years? Is that you? Yes, ma'am. All right, State. Yes, sir. So I was in condition for Governor County Texas, Defendant Albert A. Bishop, defendant there felony charges, one to supervision officer. As direction for the Monsabay Bill in May 2024, in violation of this federal law. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Sure. Waiver remaining violated conditions. Any objections to the state's waiver? No, no objection, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number four, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 10 years in the prison and up to $10,000 fine? Yes, sir. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? So, well, I mean, it's yes, not, I believe yes, so. Yes, ma'am. All right. So here's the thing. You may think you have an agreement with the state, but this motion to revoke is a contract with the court. So whatever you've agreed to with the state, I don't have to follow that. Do you uh, understand? Yes, ma'am. I told my, I told myself there was a court. Listen to me. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? What else choice do I have? These are choices you need to make. So, do you, knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Wait. Wait. If you would like, we could have a contested hearing. And what would end up happening is the state presumably would call witnesses.
they would probably call the probation officer to say that you did not report. And then I would make a decision on whether or not that probation officer is telling the truth or not. If I find that they're telling the truth, then I would find the violation true. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. So knowing all of that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number four? Yes, sir. Are you telling me you're trying to give me the whole 10 years? What I'm telling you is yes, that you have a choice to make. I just want to, I just want to get this over with. I don't really... Do you wish to plead true to violation yes, of condition number four? Yes, ma'am. All right, court will find violation of condition number four. <clears throat> is there a proposed agreement? There is, Your Honor. There is. Yes. That agreement is to adjudicate guilt, revoke an individual office of use of position, and to still serve three years of such department of All right, is that the proposed agreement? It's the proposed agreement, Your Honor. It is. All right, are you waiving your right to appeal? Yes, ma'am. All right. You want to, can you raise your right hand for me, please? You solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, ma'am. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Albert Anthony Bishop. All right. Why are you not reporting? I just, I just, uh, I didn't get the date. I'm homeless. I didn't get. I don't have really no excuses. I just didn't want to take the probation to begin with. I was going to take the time. Really. Okay. Here's the thing. That ship has sailed. Yes, ma'am. Let's not talk about ships that have sailed because guess what? They're not at the port. You can't catch it. I'm not going to disrespect. I have no, All right, so I have no excuses to give you, ma'am. All right. So there are no excuses for your I'm not, not gonna reporting. Give, I'm not going to disrespect you by giving you no excuses. I appreciate that. All right. The court is going to find violation of condition number four true. The court is going to find you guilty, revoke, sentence you to three years in the prison, give you credit for any time served. There's to be no contact with McDonald's. So McDonald's is going to be off your list of eateries. Do you understand? Yes, All right. You need to make different decisions. Otherwise, guess what? As I told the last gentleman, Texas will find a prison that will accommodate you. I heard you did loud, loud and clear. All right. Good luck to you. Yes, ma'am.